We begin tonight with breaking news. Within the last 15 minutes, the Huntsville City Council upheld the mayor's veto of a pay raise for himself and for all council members. Just two weeks ago, the council approved the pay raise, but Mayor Tommy Battle vetoed it. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Uh, Way 31 Stephen Del Cisian joins us live outside City Hall now with what happens next. Yeah, guys, city council members just voted to uphold the mayor's veto of a pay raise across the board. That wouldn't go into effect, though, until November of 2020. Now, I want you to take a look at your screen. You're looking at some numbers now of what that proposed pay raise would have meant for city council members. City Council President Devin Keith and Mayor Tommy Battle. Now, Mayor Battle has vetoed a pay raise for himself multiple times now. In the last city council meeting, just two weeks ago, the pay raise vote passed with a four to one vote, but Mayor Tommy Battle then vetoed it. Tonight, the city council members voted again. This time, it was a three to two vote, still in favor of the pay raise. But in order to overrule the mayor's veto, it had to be a four to one vote that was needed. Councilwoman Jenny Robinson and Councilman Bill Kling were the two who voted to uphold the mayor's veto. Now, District 2 Councilwoman Frances Acreage was for the pay raise, and she says this is a full time job. Where I stand is it's time for everybody to rethink the future of what they expect from their city council person and to continue this narrative that it's, quote, a part-time job. You really have to stop and think about why would someone say that? Now, the city council still has to vote on the 2020 proposed budget that's going on right now inside these doors. I'm about to go inside myself to bring you guys the latest in that vote as well. For right now, reporting live in Huntsville, Stephen Dilsizian, Way 31 News.